the great American philosopher Yogi Berra said, the future ain't what it used to be. He also said, if you don't know where you're going, you're certain to end up somewhere else. So what does the future hold for veterinary medicine, and how can we prepare for it? My name is Andy McCabe. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Association of American Veterinary Medical Colleges. And I'd like to thank you for inviting me to share a few comments with you at the Vet Future Summit. The Vet Futures Report creates a framework for the profession to prepare for and shape its own future. With six focus areas and 34 specific recommendations, it's a comprehensive and ambitious undertaking. And cutting across all of those recommendations is the fundamental role of education. This means that veterinary medical education must prepare veterinarians for whatever might come in the future, not just what we can see now. Several years ago, the AAVMC developed the Foresight Report to help us envision that future and prepare for it. The Foresight Report laid out several broad objectives, such as the need to develop areas of professional focus in order to meet the ever-changing and ever-increasing expectations of the society we serve. It also laid the foundation for the North American Veterinary Medical Education Collaborative, or NAVMEC, which became the roadmap for AAVMC and its member institutions to implement necessary changes. One thing is clear about predicting the future. Although we can be reasonably accurate in the short to medium term, we simply can't be certain about the long term. However, there is strong evidence from many different sectors that more diverse teams make better decisions. And it stands to reason that a more diverse veterinary medical profession in terms of ethnicity, socioeconomic status, gender, and many other factors, will be better able to adapt to an uncertain future no matter what it brings. That's why it's especially important to focus on recruitment and admissions practices at the veterinary schools in order to increase the diversity of the profession. I want to congratulate the British Veterinary Association and the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons and commend you for your excellent work on the Vet Futures Report. This framework serves as an example for organized veterinary medicine around the world. Now that the plan is complete, it has to be converted into action, which is the purpose of this summit. Remember, vision without action is merely a daydream, but action without vision is a nightmare. I wish you the best of success and look forward to following your progress into the future.